All right, let's do this. So the first word we have is sul obon, right? Sul obon. And sul ob is the root word meaning to try on clothes, right? To try on clothes. Um, it can also mean for things to try and see if it fits. So like if a lock and gear can fit, if a key fits in a keyhole, if you're going to try something out and see if it's fitting, right? Or, or suitable, right? So sul ob is that word to use, right? It can also mean to try on clothes. However, sul ot can also mean to try on clothes, right? Sul ot. And sul ot can also mean to see if something fits, but sul ob is the more common the more common way of saying it, right? Sul ot is a dialectal difference, but sul ob you'll hear this one more because it gets more pertainable to not just trying clothes, but to see if something is is suitable and fittable, whether you're putting clothes on a dog or dressing up a mannequin or putting clothes on a doll or seeing if a, if a gear and a lock fits you know that kind of stuff right if if when you're building something you're going to see if, if the materials fit each other something like that right if it's suitable sul ob oh yeah it fits it's perfectly well um gikulban uh, gikulban yeah right is the next one gikulban so kulba is the root word which means um to be apprehensive right you're feeling at unease and you're worried so you have like this impending feeling of worry and doom and fear. Um, and the best way I can describe this is, you know, um, maybe you left a child at home alone and now you feel really worried and scared. Now you're concerned, right? You are concerned. You feel apprehensive. You're uneasy because you cannot have a peace of mind. That kind of feeling is the kind of feel um, is how, what we describe as culpa, culpa, right? So, oh my gosh, you know, you left the stove on when you left the house. And now you feel uneasy because it might burn the house, or um, you you took care of your friend's dog, but then the dog died and your friend doesn't know. Now you feel really bad and uneasy, and you don't know what to do. You're in a panicky state. You can't have a peace of mind. Something's constantly bothering you. This is the correct word to describe that feeling. Gikulbaan, kulba, right? Um, Malasugi is any type of fish that has a long nose, whether it's a marlin, a sailfish, a swordfish, or any long-nosed fish, right? Malasugi. And then ginhawa is just breathing or a respiration, to breathe or to respire, right? Or a breath. Um, lumpinga, right? Lumpinga means to dent something. Like maybe lumping means like a dent. So um, to um, a dent, maybe you dented a car, you dented a can when you're drinking um, soda, or you, you, there was a dent on some sort of object, right? You, there was a car, a dent in a car, or a dent in the metal, right? So that's what it means as lumping. Trotot is any cone-shaped horn. So on celebrations and parties, right, you have those cone-shaped horns that you blow, and it's so annoying, right? Um, or you can, if you want to make into a paper, or make a paper into a cone, and then you blow into it, that's a trotot. Any cone-shaped horns, right, that you blow into. Bakos is cinturon. So this is the kind where, you know, your parents can um, spank you or, sl or slap you with this one when you're bad, right? They take it from their waist. Um, what heavyweight world champions and wrestlers win, right? They win this cinturon. Um, it's the thing that you put in your, um, the seat belts, right? On the car or the airplane or on a bus, right? Those, that's what it is, bakos, right? Belt. Yugto is um, yugto is an episode or a session. So if you're watching your teleserie, right, there's an episode or a session. If you're watching a, a play or some sort of theater, and then they're divided into episodes or sessions. If you're listening to dramas, right, so you're you're looking at the sessions and episodes, right. Yugto is that um, sessions. Just how this video is a yugto, right? It's a session or a, an episode of whatever series this is now. Waling means to move objects to the side, right? So waling, waling waling ah, right? So to make them out of the way, like push them aside, push them away, right? So you're moving objects away to, to for to make room, I guess, or to um to just move it out of the way. So you can push chairs out of the way, you can move objects out of the way, move tables and drawers out of, out of the way just to make the path clear. Waling, to push away, to push aside. It can also mean this right here, to turn over Right, so you can turn, let's say you can turn over a pancake, or when you're cooking, you turn over something, right? Baliktad, ibaliktad, to turn over or to reverse something. It can also mean to turn the page. Oh, turn the page. Turn the page of the book. Waling, right? Waling. Um, so waling is that verb to describe that, just pushing something away to make room. 
um, uh, talaba is a type of oyster, so talaba is an oyster. Um, nasakpan is the same as dakop. Sakpan, the root word, is the same as dakop, right? Dakop. And uh, lipas means to to go around something, to detour, right? To pass around something, right? To so you're not in the way. So maybe you're gonna go over something, um, like an overpass on a bridge, or you're gonna detour because there's a blockage in the road, you're, and you need to go somewhere. Lipas is that word to detour somewhere, to go around something, right? To pass around something. And finally, lantawon, right? Lantaw is the word meaning to oversee things, right? You're looking at the distance. You're looking ahead. You're looking into the future, right? You're gonna. You're looking at what you can predict. Right, your foresight, what you foresee. It can also mean like to look at things from a perspective or a distant view. Maybe you're on top of a hill or a mountain and you see a city in the bottom of a valley, right? So that's your um that's what you're seeing in the distance. Um you can also mean to oversee things. Maybe you're managing uh, managing a company, right? You're overseeing all these things, all these tasks, all these work. Lantawan is just like you're seeing something from a distant view. Um, you're the bigger picture, I should say. You see the big picture of things, and you can also kind of see where the future is headed with that view, like your um, perspective about the future. So those are words that can help you describe that.